If you're a listener of From the Mouths of Madness podcast, I can only assume that you're also a diehard fan of horror movies like myself. My name is Matt Balea, and I own a company called To Die For. We make custom horror-inspired designs for shirts and much more. From original to exclusive content, we can get you whatever it is your dark heart might desire. Check us out at www.todieforshop.com. That's the number two, die, the number four, shop.com. Enjoy the show. The views and opinions expressed on From the Mouths of Madness are that of the panel and not of the Geeks Under the Influence Network or their sponsors. Listeners, beware. So it's this uh, Sid Haig in the Captain Spaulding outfit with the Uncle Sam hat and a flag behind him, and it's it's like our president forever is what it says on it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty badass. But the pre-order ends tonight of our recording, so that would be probably two weeks <laughs> prior to people hearing it. It'll be long. But there's big demand. Maybe. Well, that's the same. They, yeah. they, 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 they did allude to if there was, I guess, enough want, they might do something for in you know in the future. might not be the same thing, but- it's pretty cool. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, Sid. Oh, he was such a sweetheart at, at, at cons, man. Oh, dude, Scares the Cares, he was always there. Dude, yeah, I mean, Scares the Care, I saw him at Scares the Care, Mad Monster, Monster Mania, and like, he was always 20 bucks. I feel like he'd probably break debt and be 40 now. Because he stayed yeah, 20. Yeah, the 40 is kind of the low end now. Yeah, when like, 20 used to be, right? Yeah. But like, but he he was always the low end for like all, the 10, year, 10 years I've been going to cons before his passing. He was always like 20 bucks. That's why it's sad that he was. And three from hell because mm. it's so pointless to have him in that movie. Even though you want to have that Captain Spaulding appreciation, yeah, but, but you bring him back for like a scene and then take him out. Yeah, well, he, I mean, yeah, he was dying. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> I know it sucks. He's like, but I, I agree. I agree with what you're saying. It was like he was dying. So why and he could have been one of the cameos in this movie? Oh, he he probably would have been. Yeah. Probably would have. He been. did some cameos, but after oh. uh, he got his resurgence with Rob Zombie, Zombie stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, one th- that's the only thing I give Rob Zombie. It's he gave us brought yeah. attention back to Sid. Exactly, yeah. it's the only thing I give him for his movie. <laughs> yes, yeah. thank you for that one contribution and stop making shitty horror movies. <laughs> Although um, one of the main actors in this film uh, was in two of Rob Zombie's films. Yeah. Which two? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> another Halloween actually no, horror movie. Two of the actors were who the fuck was the other one? Damn Harris. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, so you just gonna for, uh, skip out of Bill Mosley? Oh God, damn. I mean the most obvious fucking he just was Rob Zombie resurgent actor. He just possible. wasn't in the same ones. That's all. Yeah, I was thinking of. And I, I think technically <laughs> wasn't he in Halloween? Because isn't he the drunk ass boyfriend or whatever? No, no, I mean, that is not. He's Bill got. Mosley. He has to have an appearance in Halloween. That was William Forsyth, right? Who but, played the drunk boyfriend? Okay, but yeah. isn't he somewhere in Halloween? Not that I can think of. Is he? I'd be shocked. He's somewhere in there. <laughs> Trying to think, dude. Like, um, I, I don't know because he wasn't the principal, was he? No. Like right. I don't think Bill Mosley's. I'm not in pulling it. out IMDb now. No, but God I, damn, you're, you're, there's got to be an I appearance think, somewhere. I don't think he's in it. All right, maybe, maybe but, that's but, true. But oh, then he shows up in Halloween too, and I, I, I am not doing any fucking research on Halloween. He's too. not in Halloween too. He could be like a bar key. Oh, no, he might have been. I think he might have been one of the ambulance drivers. See, maybe. See, there's May, might be. I said there. maybe, maybe. But yeah, it's weird. He didn't use him for like in a big role like he did for because the House and Devils had already come out before Halloween, so. Yeah. This is crazy he didn't pull him in, you know. Did he ever use him again? Besides three from hell? I mean, is he not in thirty one? I don't think so. <laughs> is I never I've only seen Lords of Salem once. I do not remember that movie. Yeah. So I don't, I, I am not dedicated <laughs> enough to do this kind of research to watch his movies. Is he in again. the monsters? I believe he is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who the fuck's he playing the monsters? Who knows? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna research that one either. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> On to tonight's non-Rob Zombie movie that we're talking about on the chopping block is 2023's Natty Knox. I'm Lowdown. F.U. Hunter, what's up, you uh, B-movie whoring bitches? 
B movie whoring bitches. That's what makes yeah. you a witch. You yeah, fuck a lot of guys, and you're in B movies. Well, no, it, it wasn't even that she was f- like Robert England. Okay, that was the best part of this fucking movie. Can we just get that out of the way? Robert England giving giving us the backstory. Yeah, I just wish he wasn't killed like a little bitch. Mm, yeah. he, he gets killed like a little bitch. Yeah, but he's a prof- he's a real ta- realtor company owner. I like, understand, not like he's... but he still gets killed like a little bitch. He, he does. Yeah, but by a crazy dude. Yeah. So there's that. But explains how we get what really happened to Natty Knox. Yeah, mm. she got that black book of all the dudes she fucked <laughs> that were married. Yeah, <laughs> that was a big fucking like that was a big a, ass book, dude. There's a lot. That's a lot of fucking. <laughs> but if you notice, it only it only ever turned to the first page. Yeah, so maybe she hadn't filled it. Okay, maybe. <laughs> but it's not. I want the page that has all the names. I want the book. That means yeah. it's a lot of dick. Yeah. All right, that's a lot of dick. Makes that town. It was like one horse. So it's like you just go, you just see your buddy on a, at the bar Friday night after getting off work. It's like, yeah, you gonna go up in Natty later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> beat you, it I is. beat you to her. Like what the, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's like sloppy, 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 Dude. sloppy, 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 it's, sloppy it's, seconds. It's, it's town level sloppy seconds. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what he, what, but anyway, what Robert England said was, I forget his character's name. What he said was, um, she was doing just B horror movies. So, you know. They were, it was basically the scene we see from the one movie is she just gets stabbed over and over again, yes, by like men in robes. Yeah, I don't. There's no fucking. There's no. You don't see. You don't see any. You, you know. It's like it's not like she, she was whoring in the movies. But I yeah, what I'm she feeling. just tits out and getting killed. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean it's typical. That's every movie. B movie. Yeah, it's not even every B movie. movie. That's every horror movie. All right, <laughs> it's true. Tits out not, gets that. No, not since the '90s. They stopped that shit. Like. All, you know, consistently in the '90s, that's one of the things we lost in horror. That's that's true. We did lose that in the '90s, and then we have we've never fully gotten back. Yeah. God damn it. Titties. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's like the sequels to the OGs that did that still give us that. Yeah. But newer horror movies, they don't. And if they give it to us, is we don't want it that way. Like Terrifier, we don't we don't want it that way. Yeah. I don't want, no, no, I don't want those titties. <laughs> like <laughs> those are those are there's a couple titties. there's a couple pairs of titties that. One's attached to a chick who's getting sawed in half, and one, yeah, on him at Gein style. And yeah. it's like, no, nah, I don't. Yeah, no. The other chick, you just see the muscle of her titty because she's been skinned. I don't want those titties. Yeah. <laughs> Good so, point. Good point. Maybe that's the way that it's going with, with how we get titties moving forward for, you know, 10 years. It's just like scarred, deformed. It's either that or old titties. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you got plenty of titties in the barbarian. You just don't want no <laughs> fucking X. Put those away, X. Yeah, and and I feel like there's a movie recently this year I watched that had old titties. Oh, Substance. Yeah, it has old, yeah. It has old monstrous titties. It has old monster titties. <laughs> Dude, don't need those. Out. Oh god. All right, we gotta get back in this movie. We're having fun, guys. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. Sorry, Sorry about we're that. having fun. Well, we're having um, too much fun. Let's talk about this movie. But this is relevant, you know. We're horrors and movies. Well, let's and, let's know, bring it down. And talk about this bring movie. Bring it down. Talk about this movie. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Hard turn, guys. Hard turn. All right, so as we mentioned, our two main characters that are adults are Bill Mosley and Daniel Harris. Yeah. 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 She's the mom, and he's the traumatized- Crazy neighbor's son. I mean, we set up this kid's going to be fucking traumatized to turn into Bill Mosley, mm. because the opening scene of this movie is his mom, Natty Knox, mm-hmm. getting railed on the bed, and then and the under. camera comes down, and he's under the bed. Now is that a normal thing? Does he just hang out? She's like, "Baby, you're gonna weird out the customers. Just yeah. stay under the bed while I'm getting fucked." And then you know, that's gonna was cause it a one some room apartment or something. I thought she had a house. I don't even think it. Well, <laughs> here's the other question: Is all the suburban moms fucking bang on the door and she's like, "Bring out the witch," and the dude who gives two shits about her, he's like, "Here, you can have this bitch." Mm-hmm. Isn't that her, her house? I think so. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was her house. So he's <laughs> kicked her out of her own house. Her own house. <laughs> that is such zero respect. Yeah, you can have the bitch. He bitch is my fucking house. He didn't even care enough that about it, the kid. One of the or that one of the women might have been his wife. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like he's like fuck it. Here I'm you going. go. Yeah. Well, he could, he knew he couldn't finish. He's like, well, fuck her. Here yeah. you go. I'm I'm caught. Yeah. And then they put her in the fucking her shed. Okay, that was a terrible b- death scene, by the way. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Like the flames. Didn't even touch her. It was just like around her, which is would be cool if it was 1960. <laughs> and then small town, we we find out later on, 
Well, I mean, there was gasoline in the shed. That's how she died. Is she just had an accident? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Well, even Robert Ingram's character is like, that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's what they're like. You know, it looks like she just spilled the gasoline you all store over. Shouldn't gasoline and shit. Where the fuck do you store gasoline yeah. at then? She apparently spilled gasoline all over herself and then lit a match, not knowing that she was covered in gasoline in a shed that Dude, she locked the door. There's up. stories like that all across America. The what are you talking about? Outside lock. God damn. <laughs> Crack team of detectives in this town. God damn. <laughs> Case closed. She oh. accidentally killed herself. Oh, fuck. Accidental death. All right. Now, my big problem with this movie is it seems like there was two different writers, and one writer was like, I want to write the tale of Natty Knox mm -hmm. and how she died and that she's this urban legend and there's this thing you knock nine times, you could bring her back, and I want to have this good like ghost story. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I want to write about the traumatized kid and how he grows up and murders the shit out of people. And while incorporating a lifetime drama about a family that's yeah, broken. Yeah. And let's court and they both said, fine, we'll do both movies. <laughs> because yeah, God literally it, half man. the movie is about the divorce. And at first I didn't think I thought that somehow the dark haired girl was related to that family. And I, it took me like twenty minutes she to realize the, she was the babysitter. The babysitter. Right, yeah. See, you're confused. Thank you. I, yeah, he's got a confused thought, look too, folks. I, I, like it's I not thought, just me. Yeah, I thought that was like the daughter from another. Marriage I thought like Danielle Harris yeah. came in with the dark-haired girl and in a marriage, and then that marriage they split, and somehow she got his kids. I don't know how the was fuck she babysitting the teenage boy that's the same age as her. No, the I think it was the younger just daughter. The younger daughter. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> just making sure because there's a very like weirdly I'm a, the babysitter relationship with the teenager at the beginning. And I was like, aren't y'all the same fucking age? Yes, they are. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got the annoying friend of our teenager. Yeah. 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 yeah we, he we, we got him. And which he breaks dude's phone and then says, dude, that sucks, man. Let's go steal copper to pay for the phone that I fucking no, no, broke. No. So they made a cr crunch sound like he broke the phone, but he said, but the conversation after that was about paying the bill. They went and stole copper. To pay for the bill, not for a broken phone. I don't understand it. Are they on hard times? Because the house didn't say that. Mm -mm. The big ass house. Well, did remember, not say. the mom said like, "Your dad bought you that phone. You you pay for it." I'm like, oh fuck. Apparently, she's being cunty. And there's no way to get money besides stealing copper. I I don't know. It's apparently it's in 2023, and whatever fucking town this was, it it was hard out there for a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, that's where this movie's like. I don't um, know. He steals copper, but they steal copper. They get away with the first time, and they go, "Let's do it again, and let's do it at this abandoned house." But we're gonna knock on the door and then witness a murder. Uh, all right. No, they didn't witness a murder. They went and hid. He came out. Then he didn't see them. Went back in. They could have ran the fuck away. No, the uh, dumbass goes back to the door. Then witnesses a murder. Yeah, because that's what you do. Well, Fuck, no, I'm it wasn't sorry. a murder. It was an abdu abduction because she's she's the, alive. Yeah, fair. She's alive. Be, Only yeah. incompetent <laughs> cops get killed in this movie. Apparently, <laughs> uh, there's how many deaths are there in this movie? It's not many at all. Two. Yeah. If you count Natty Knox, I think because you think Daniel Harris's character when she goes to investigate the house is supposed to be abandoned, and she runs into Bill Mosley, who's a cop during the day, serial Kill. traumatized serial killer Kill. at night. But is he a serial killer? I think he's just a traumatized escape mental patient at this point. I guess. He didn't I, kill anybody. I, he was supposed to, I think. Was, I think he was supposed to. <laughs> it was on his to-do list. He's gonna watch <laughs> he's gonna watch his mom's B movies and then it's gonna it's gonna happen eventually. Like every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. He's gonna watch his mom get murdered. And he's gonna not only watch his mom get murdered, but dress up like the people murdering his mom to then go murder people. Yeah. I I don't know. <laughs> That's scriptwriter two. You got he. You got to talk to scriptwriter two. Scriptwriter one is doing. He's traumatized. He's, he's doing <laughs> so who fucking knows? Man, this movie has it's no so, idea what it's doing. It's so back and forth, dude. Like at and some the point, thing is, it, I think this could have been one hundred percent a legit good Halloween horror movie. Yeah, I think it had the potential lean to be that. Into the legend of her, Natty Knox. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and you can still keep that's that's her son, and you can keep all that. And, and this thing, you can lean into it and say, okay, these disappearances keep happening. Well, no, they do say that there's a bunch of people missing. So I think we're supposed to believe that he does eventually kill the people. That he, he has does. been killing people. Yeah, we just don't see it at any time. No, no, oh, no, he kills 
He kills the other cop. That's one. Okay. Oh, I think man. Have I been? <laughs> he fails on every other attempt. I think that I was correct in saying I think there's only two deaths, one of them being Natty Knox. No, Robert England, three. So it's three deaths. There's okay. three deaths. Because you think he kills Daniel Harris when he, he literally he instructs though. her yeah. to say, choke me. Mm -hmm. By the way, he, ugh. show a moment of resilience where you go, go fuck yourself. But she starts saying, choke me. And you're like, okay, so she's dead. No, he just choked her out, and then he keeps her hostage in another part of the house mm -hmm. from the other hostage and makes mm -hmm. her watch, dress up like the nurse as her mom's character yeah. was in the mm -hmm. movie, and watch. Which, by the way, I wasn't angry about that. Oh, no, I wasn't either. But, I mean, I mean yeah. it was, it, a little bit was taken away from the ropes and the, you know, I wasn't, wasn't too big keen on that, but, you know. It's just a weird drag out, let's watch this movie, oh, yeah, and then eventually forever. I might kill you. But in the process, he takes so long. And I, I forgot about the first girl that got abducted till yeah. later on when they get in the house and they get into the other basement because there's multiple basements apparently or different levels of basements. Mm -hmm. The other basement where she's there. Yeah. And you're like, there's like two basements. Oh, it's it's kind of like he barbarian didn't, he didn't basement, but he not. He didn't kill her? No, he didn't kill her. He abducted he just, three because he. None of them. He, he abducted the girl at the beginning they witnessed. He abducted the babysitter and then he abducted the mom. Mm -hmm. And none of them mm -hmm. are killed by him. I think it might have to do with his raging alcoholism. Is that what it is? Remember that whole scene where like the 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 friends oh, in the he, house he, he gets up drunkenly, goes to pour a drink, passes out drunk <laughs> before he can even get. You the mean drink. where the supernatural factor? Okay, yeah. What the fuck was the mirror, dude? What was that shit? Where the friend sneaks into the house to find out where this girl yeah. is, looks in the mirror, Natty. No, here's the nine knocks. Here's nine knocks first. You didn't catch that? Yeah. There's not every. There's two scenes where the mirror comes into play. Both times I, there I are missed, nine knocks. I, I missed the knocking on the mirror, but he's... no, they didn't knock on the mirror. There's three. There's nine knocks come from somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. In the in repetitions of three, I don't know where they came from. He's in the living room mm -hmm. with Bill Mosley, passed the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Literally turns. There's the mirror. She jumps out, a la haunted scream, whatever. He screams out loud. Falls backwards. That's what woke him up, though. He but was that drunk. Just woke him up. Slightly woke up. Not woke him up as a, somebody's in my house, but what? What happened? <laughs> he probably thought it was like, that's one of those bitches uh, downstairs. <laughs> then walks over and then <laughs> drinks some more. And no, then he never, he, he passed back. He didn't even pour He passed drink. out, he falls passed on out. the ground. Yeah. He okay. Didn't even fucking God drink damn. Anything. But no. That's the problem. He would be a competent serial killer, but he keeps drinking himself stupid mm. that he can't hear someone, right? Like, Five feet from him, screaming. <laughs> that's, but that's what um, that's what distracted Daniel Harris, when she also saw the mirror demon, mirror natty. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I couldn't remember that, or it was the it was the friend one of the, one of the hostages. It was the screaming. friend, and it was Daniel Harris. Okay. Um, and yeah, both times, like anytime there's a knock in the movie, it's nine knocks. Like remember when the the friend and the mom's fuck boy. When they first go to the house, there's, there's, there's no when at their house. There's like nine knocks, and they go out to look for it, and that's when shit happens. Like there, there's multiple times throughout the movie. How, you didn't catch that where there's nine knocks? Because well, remember, Natty, the, the rhyme goes, Natty knocks nine times. So every time there's a knock, it's in rep three repetitions of three. But they do that to the abandoned house mm -hmm. that they're going to steal the copper of, just as a joke, right? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. I don't and, know. Again, nobody knows. No, the, the, I don't know why. They don't explain anything besides, you know what would be funny? We're going to steal copper from the abandoned house, knock on the door nine times just for fuck's sakes. Yeah, I don't I don't know why the there was three random knocks made by nobody, and then all of a sudden you get ghost cult horror. Yeah. Like, coming. I, I, that made no sense at all. And are they trying to say something like there's something in repetition? Because a lot of people do like the tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, when they're like knocking on the door, yeah. I, I, what? Well, they have a whole rhyming thing that goes with it. And, well, I know, yeah, but like no, but like everybody who knocks, even even if it's not teenagers, it could just be a knock coming. Go, you know, well, the mom could have done it, and there's just three repetitions of three. It's like every anytime there's someone knocking on something in the movie, it's nine knocks. Yeah, I don't fucking what the fuck. Like, she's she's controlling their knocks. Who who fucking and knows? And if, if it was the knocks that did it, like it would be like Candyman style, where you knock nine Wait, times. Did the babysitter knock nine times? When? And the only reason I ask is because the third part of uh, the third screenwriter screenwriter that comes in and says, 
Now, at the end of the movie, guess who gets possessed? Mm. And you're like, wait, is this a possession movie now? And that's how it ends. Mm-hmm. Is the babysitter is possessed by her, which yeah. never came to any part of it beforehand. So no, apparently when he re- expelled the demon with like CW oh, supernatural level, the demon was in her. He was her, 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 the, his mom was inside him. Yeah, that's just ew. yeah. That's ew. Which we do get a good Daniel Harris scream. That was we do. that was a legit was, scream. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was we awesome. got a good scream. That, yeah, that, that no. I think that's why they cast her. That was a good scream. I, like Daniel, I will Daniel Harris and Bill Mosley. I think did a great job for what they were given. Yeah, honestly, like I think Bill Mosley was believable as this traumatized psycho killer. Also child, you know, like he he wasn't supposed to appear as like a full fledged adult. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. He well, wasn't. half the time he's got makeup on his face too, which <laughs> <is> probably <laughs> helps out. He's a little unhinged because, yeah. yeah, you know. But he also as a cop during the day. But besides taking the makeup off, he looks fucked up. Yeah. Like I know there's no like there there maybe there's a dress code and he passes because he's wearing the uniform of a cop. But his hair's disheveled. He looks fucked up. And he's just like not when he's in the office. When he looks fucked up is when he goes over to the friend's house and the mom's fuck toy comes in. He hasn't even washed off the black around his no, eyes. No, he looks fucked up in the office too. When he takes her to the special area to make a oh, statement. In, in that part. But yeah. I mean, like, there's the first time you see him walk through the office, his hair's combed. He's passes as a creepy fucking. Oh, the cop. first yeah, the first the very, first very time. one first. But every time other time is, he looks fucked yeah. up. We only see him one other time in the in the police station. The police station, and then when he's, he's at the house. Yeah. yeah. What well, once once uh, after that last scene in the police station, when he gets caught directing the girl to go kidnap her, he never takes the police uniform off. He wears That's that right. the rest of the fucking movie. Yeah, like, <sighs> dude, he's wearing a mask at a Halloween haunt with his police uniform with his name on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot about that part of the Jesus. The whole, like, you're wearing a uniform with your name on it. What the fuck? <laughs> dude, I'm s- in a small town, mind you. In a small well, town, there's probably what, like, maybe ten cops. Exactly. God damn it. And how did crack team of detectives again <laughs> the on the case? We haven't even got into and how the one guy the one, <laughs> one guy, guy that's like, wait a second, you seem mm, suspicious. Oh yeah. fucking dead. Yeah, fucking fucking dead. dead. Just fucking dead. Done yeah. and done. <laughs> have we have we covered enough bitchy? We we didn't go into the bullshit backstory of burning the fucking asylum to, or how he saved a bunch of people but did he i thought it, then, like i feel like he would have started the fire to say to like but that's how they they thought he died yeah so he started the fire thought he got and then everyone thought he got burned up and the man who actually saved everybody he's, yeah is the new the, yeah, yeah he stole his name and you know, see and that's the other thing so the mom is natty his name is nathaniel i thought they were going to go with something weird like oh he's natty knox and he's just been this like weird dude serial killer thing no they didn't no, no she her she possessed him dude that was god that was it. like season two cw supernatural cgi dude yeah that was bad yeah that was fucking bad it was <laughs> that was it horrible was... <laughs> and again at the end of the day we get like two kills three, three. we counted three count them three well four he's dead right after the possession thing yeah so we four shot yeah we get four deaths yeah three kills four deaths I will say Daniel Harris caps the shit out of him. Fuck yeah, she does. She, that, that was that was yeah. kind of nice. I like but that. She, her, uh, she's talked on uh, the podcast, Talk Scary to Me, um, about, I think it was last year, I want to say. It was either anniversary or a birthday present. She bought her husband like a really nice fucking staccato uh, pistol. Oh. So she, I think she's an, I think she shoots. We stuff. do have a reunion of sorts because the director of this is the same director, I can't remember what his first name is, something little, of Halloween 4. So this is the first time that they worked together mm-hmm. since Halloween 4. No shit. Yeah. Why couldn't he have as many kills as Halloween 4? That would have been know. nice. Yeah. Halloween 4's got a lot of kills. I know. Yeah, like, and I that's, know, that's the sequel that I am unapologetically enjoy watching. It's not a great movie. No. But I always watch it, it every ha- year. It has one of the strongest endings to a Halloween sequel. Mm-hmm. I'll say that for sure. Mm-hmm. That uh, we can't get into that. Yeah. We already covered that there, but they <laughs> shit it. They fucked it all up in part five. <laughs> yeah. But, but no. Um, I will say it was great to see Daniel, like Daniel Harris, in um just a night a good role. And she's she's been getting a couple mom roles. Like uh, we haven't uh, you haven't seen it yet, but the movie Stream she plays a mom in that, and it's just really believable because wait she is a mom, and yeah. you know. I don't know. It's just really believable for her to be there now, for her to have you know for her to have these parts. She's had. It's kind of cool now because she has the different levels. She was the child 
star in the horror movie. Mm-hmm. And then as she got older in her twenties or so, or whatever, well, she did some stuff in her teens too. But I'm just saying, yeah. like Hatchet, you know, the Halloween. I mean, she was in a uh, Urban Legends. Yep. Oh, I forgot yeah. about Goth Girl and her <laughs> Legends. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she, oh, dude, I'm brain farting, and I but feel I'm just so saying, bad. But as she's, she's grown been, up, she was, yeah. she's definitely put her imprint in different levels in, throughout the oh, years. Oh, yeah, dude, like, she's going to be, you know, one of those actors that you talk about, you know, 60 years from now in horror. I mean, yeah. she's, she's, she's Bill Mosley, too. They're going, they're, they are the, they are names in horrors. They are now what we talk about, you know, or what people were talking about in the 80s as far as, like, you know, Romero, Savini, or, um... I think of big actors from that period that uh, like there were a lot of giallo actors and there was um oh fuck God, I'm, I'm brain farting on names but like we ha- there were uh, I mean you, you go all the way back to the 30s and say you know Universal Monsters Bela Lugosi John Lon Chaney all those guys you know she is falling in suit with like Robert England Nick Castle I guess that's a better comparison because she was an adult in the 2000s yeah. late 90s mid, mid you know roughly mid 90s late 90s where you know, all the sla- all the icons from the '80s were already you know adults when she was kid when she was a kid. So like, she has become synonymous now with those. But I think it's kind of cool, like because you put her, I would put somebody else out there. It's not really horror movie, horror movie, but Elijah Wood. You know, I remember him in The Good, Good Son. Son. Yeah, and now like motherfucker was in the remake of Maniac. You know, like he's and he's been in tons of horror uh, movies since what, then. Well, Welcome home, Daddy. What was that? We have I haven't watched that one yet, but yeah, I, 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 I do want to. It's yeah, apparently I, it's a creepy ass horror movie. Yeah, so. and uh, what's the virus kids virus one? Oh, cooties, cooties. Yeah, yeah. but he's he's put it, he's in all the horror movies now, and it's just kind of funny, kind of the same path, mm-hmm. you know, with the exception he was in Lord of the Rings and a couple other big movies some, like that. You know, giant blockbuster, some hits. giant blockbusters <laughs> in between. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> exactly. All right, folks. So that's gonna wrap it up. Talking about Natty Knox, clearly it does not survive the chopping block. I will not watch this movie again. No need to. No. If, if you need help sleeping. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Because that bitch put me to sleep. I, I had to like <laughs> shake myself awake several times watching this. Yeah, I was struggling. Like it was the the story was went along and drugs so slowly and then it went into just shit I didn't care about the family. I was just like on my phone like making the logo for this week's episode like just doing shit to keep me busy because yeah. like uh we'll okay we there, weren't fair to the we weren't fair to our quote-unquote is she a final girl because she got possessed she wasn't a bad actress no actor she was solid the little the little sister was cool too i thought she did a good job oh we didn't bring up the little sister has a freak out mm-hmm. and she at midway of the movie she's like jesus fuck christ this is going on this is going on and like, has, a fucking, on. Yeah. has a fucking breakdown i was like Way to go! Yeah, that I like was a that. good. That was good acting. Because yeah. she was involved in all this shit. Yeah. and doesn't say anything. And eventually, she's like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah, that was awesome. That was, that was. It was good. Best she's acting like, in the movie. Dad's never coming home. Fuck. Yeah. Ah. everything's fucked up. <laughs> Fair. I think I enjoyed that mon- that better than the everything else. Yes, the- I agree. <laughs> so, Hunter, do you do you enjoy when Natty knocks? Fuck no. Like I said, if I need a sleep aid, I can put it on. It would knock me out in goddamn 10 minutes. Because, and we've brought up movies that don't explain anything. Yeah. And this movie's the opposite, where it goes into <laughs> so much explaining. I could give two shits. <laughs> We're explaining everything. She's fucking every husband. Where's the balance? It's like, yeah. well, they told us that twice, because they told us that in the every, intro, and yeah. then they told us that again. Again and again. And again and again and again. Like, Over explaining, where then Why? I'm like, I don't fucking care. Can we yeah. get to a kill? And yeah. you get three, none of them memorable kills. No. Yeah. No. Robert England falls down the steps. Oh, yeah. Quote unquote. He gets stabbed with the poker that he had as a weapon that it gets <laughs> two seconds pulled out of his hand and stabbed with. <laughs> I. It's just <laughs> blah, boring, boring, boring. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, Hit us up at lowdownbrown.gui.gmail.com. Let us know if you watch this film. What do you think? Um, and also recommend some other Halloween horror to us. You know, like we're going to need it next year because. So there, all right. There are a couple coming out this year that we're not going to get to that we might we would we will definitely cover next year. So hopefully those are a little bit better. There might be some hidden gems that we don't know about that. Yeah, there's a couple. Help us out. There's literally a couple that co- have one comes out this week, and I think the other one comes out next week. One one's on Hulu and one. Isn't it just hit streaming to rent and buy? So I'm just saying we we we'll have a couple that 
we'll get to next year, but please give us some that we haven't done. Give us some input. F- please. And um, also, uh, go to GIPodcast.com. Check out all the other shows on the network, as well as while you're there, go to our links tab and click our links to public and get just tons of designs. You can get stickers, magnets, hoodies, sweaters, sweatshirts, long sleeves. Did you say tote bags? I don't remember. No one's carrying fucking tote bags in the fall. It's good. Come on, man. You're going places. You need a fucking good tote bag still, all right? Always. Tote bags are good for every season. No one every is season. No one is going on a picnic in December. Right. We cons, different things like that. You could work for a con. We're in a shop. We're getting close to shopping season. Good tote bag. You mean Christmas season? Yeah. America is shopping season. Yeah. That is just America. Is true, yeah. America is shopping you need season. You that reliable tote bag to <laughs> shove all your shit in. Because you bought it online. Might as well get a Madness Boys one. Yep. There you go. Yep. Let's get, get a Madness Boys. Oh. <laughs> Toe bag, yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's enough, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> and please also like, a comment, rate, review, share, subscribe across all the socials. Give the Madness Boys some love. We will continue to put out our brand of horror podcast, which, you know, isn't for everybody, but... Fuck it. We got our opinions. It's for some people. Yep. So. <laughs> it's for some people. Is that pretty logo? It's not for everybody, but it's for some people. Yeah. Madness. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, until we talk again, embrace the madness. Podcast.com.